So let's get started in a seated position. And just kind of find yourself here on the mat, close your eyes and let the hands rest on your knees. Now start to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Letting yourself not sink or slope, but just land here on the mat with your spine tall, with your legs rested, your knees opening up, relaxing your hips. And feel the support of the earth below you, especially if you're outside. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. And feel the power of your back, your spine, supporting you all the way up to your neck and through your head. And as though there were a little bit of a string pulling you up towards the sun. Straighten up your spine fully and then open your eyes. And let's take some big arm circles. And then place both hands out and walk your hand over to the right and take a long side stretch. And return to center and slide out to the left and stretch. And come back to center. Uh, take a few shoulder circles here. And then squeeze your shoulders up towards your ears. Really squeeze, 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 squeeze some tension. And then on your exhale, just release and exhale through your mouth. One more time. And one more time. Inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale. And now come into child's pose. That's finding your way down towards your heels with your seat, stretch the arms out and just find your peace. Welcome Jen. And keep breathing here. And on your next inhale, walk your fingers over to the right and maybe place your right hand over the left and just feel that side stretch on your left side. Maybe a couple of big inhales and exhales. And walk back through the center and over to the left. And exhale into the stretch. And then come back to the center. Walk your hands a little bit further forward and shoot up to downward facing dog. Walk out the dog, first hold of the morning. Bending the feet alternatively, checking in your hands, the thumb and index finger forming this nice L and really feeling how you can push your knuckles and fingers into the 
mat to really push up through your shoulders to get the spine long and straight, pointing the tailbone towards the sky. And then on your next inhale, come forward to high plank. And on your exhale, shoot back again to downward facing dog. Take an inhale and an exhale. On your next inhale, again come back, come up front to high plank. And come back again. Now we're facing dog. And one more last time. Inhale, high plank. Really push away, tighten your hamstring or your, your quads. Fire up your legs. Push away from the floor and exhale back to downward facing dog. And here in downward facing dog, come up to your toes and swing your heels over to the right just to get that side stretch bend into your right knee and feel that side stretch along your spine from the left hip and come back to center little tiptoe and tiptoe placing the heels down <coughs> to the to the left and bending the left leg Stretch out that right, all the way from the right hip up to the, to the back. And come back to center. And lower your knees, come down to tabletop. Check in that your hands are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. And let's take a few cat and cow here. So inhale, push your chest forward, looking straight or a little bit up for cow. And exhale, shoot up the cat. Feeling the stretch in your upper shoulders, upper back. And let's take a few rounds at your own pace. Inhaling for cow, and exhale for cat. One more round. Inhale, cow, and exhale, cat. You found your way back to the neutral position. And slowly extend your right leg back. Flex the foot and raise the leg up, straight out. Feel your glute engage. Feel stretch, stretch, stretch back. And then walk your left arm forward and stretch out the left arm with that thumb facing up as though you were salute, say hi to somebody, socially distanced. <laughs> and push away with the right hand into the mat and really feel that stretch through from your toes to your fingers. And bring the leg down, arm down, let's do the other side. So slide your left leg back, engage the glute, lift the foot flex, and slide the right arm forward. And release. And let's do this one more time. So slide the right leg back, but this time uh, bend, bend the knee. And you can stay here, just maybe pulse the leg a little bit, or if you want to open up with the left arm out, you can do that. And for one step further, if you want to venture it already, you can reach back with the left hand to clasp the right leg at the foot and just get a little bit more of a stretch. 
a lot of balance this early in the morning. <laughs> and release. Good job. And let's do the same with the left. Slide the left leg back. Lift it up and bend at the knee. And slide it right on forward. Find that balance. Using your drishti. If you want to stay here, that's fine. Or if you want to go and grab with that right hand, the left foot. And release. Okay, so again, walk your hands a little bit further forward and come up to downward facing dog. And bend it all out and let's walk the feet up to the hands and come into ragdoll forward fold. I wish you were, I were there <laughs> to assist you. Just pushing, let your head hang low. Really let it all out. Feel the weight of your head and your neck relaxing. You can either keep the hands at opposite elbow or if you want to get even more heavy, maybe just let them hang towards the floor, swaying from side to side, letting out all that tension. Bend your knees as much as you need. And then slowly come up to mountain pose. Can't see my head. And let's bring our hands to heart center. I set the silent intention for the situation, for how we handle it, and for imagining how it's going to be afterwards with positivism, positivism and, and happiness. And inhale, reach to the ceiling. Now let's take a few sun salutations. So exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, three, really pushing your chest forward, looking forward on the floor, and exhale, forward fold, and come back to high plank. With or without knees, lower to lower plank, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Find your breath here. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Maybe you get your, your Ujjayi breath going. Using the exhale as you are whispering. We'll take an inhale, exhale it all out. And step or flow to the front of the mat. Again, full halfway lift, forward fold, exhale, reach up, full inhale, and exhale it all out, forward fold, halfway lift, and step back to high plank, and lower down with or without knees. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. And again, on your next exhale, step or flow to the front of the mat. Halfway lift and chair pose. Find that balance, pushing into your heels. Look at your knees, or like look at your knees moving backwards, your toes lifting and spreading out, sitting down on the mat. 
and bring your hands to your hips and step the left foot forward backwards to coming into warrior one. You may need to adjust the width and the length here. Just try, inhale and tweak your pelvis so you're pushing the left, left hip forward and grabbing the right hip backwards. It's really trying to find a neutral pelvis more moving forward. And slide a little bit deeper into your front knee. And bring the arms up and inhale, ex stretch out your right leg. And then exhale, come back into the pose, cactusing your arms out. And let's flow a little bit like this two, three times. Inhale, extend the leg, exhale, come back into warrior one. Inhale up and exhale down. And bring the feet to the ground and step the left foot forward for halfway lift. And again, come into chair pose. See if you can sink a little bit lower here. Great. And then hands to the hips and step the right leg backward. Come into warrior one on the left side. Find that drishti, find your, your grip on your hips. Trying to find that neutral push forward. And raise the arms. And inhale, strengthen your, or lengthen your left leg. Exhale, come back into warrior one. Cactusing your arms. Inhale up and exhale down. One more time. Inhale up and exhale into warrior one. And let's step forward and forward fold. Halfway lift and chair pose. And again, forward fold, halfway lift, and let's step back to high plank, and let's go through the vinyasa. Lower down, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Connect yourself here, your breath, your drishti, checking in the width between your legs, feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward. And let's bring the right foot to the right hand, again come into warrior one on the right side. Sink a little bit lower. And then let's open up to warrior two. And here, let's reverse our warrior, sliding the left hand back on your back leg, sinking a little bit lower, a little bit forward, and really breathe in, breathe up to your hand rising to the sky. And then come back to neutral, push forward with that right hand, and come into extended side angle. You can leave your elbow on your knee, or you can slide it down your path, or reach a block on the floor. Try to keep that breathing and feeling of opening up the chest, opening up your heart. Beautiful. And come down, both hands on the mat, step back. You can step back directly to downward dog or take the vinyasa. All right, and when you're ready, bring the left foot forward, come up to warrior one here. Find your drishti, 
Found your balance. And open up to warrior two. And as always, check in that your heel is aligned in the center of your back foot. Feel the feeling of pushing your tailbone forwards to the front knee and really sliding with it and keeping your torso, your back tall and straight. Proud warriors. And then reverse the warriors, sliding the right hand down your left, your right leg. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, come back to neutral. And look forward, push forward towards the extended side angle here. I like to make a big circle with my extended arm. So if you bring your upper arm back and all the way around, pass into your face and then open up again, maybe you'll find a little bit more stretch towards chest, through the chest, really bringing the, the heart to open, pushing the pelvis forward. And release down to the mat. And step backward, take the vinyasa, or stay in the downward facing dog. Ah, inhale and exhale it all out. And tiptoe or step to the front of the mat. And from here, come up to standing. We will, okay, what will we do for equanimity? Let's, um, yeah, let's start by a few eagle poses. So since we can't hug so many more than our family, let's start by taking the eagle from a, start by, starting by hugging yourself, starting with a, a, the right arm on top, and then open up, and wherever you can reach, if you can reach, putting your palms together, that's fine, if not, wherever you reach, and then lift your left, your right knee and bring it over the left and sink into eagle pose. Or you can just stay with, with the right knee bent as it kicks down. Keep your drishti straight through your arms, through your fingers. Bring the shoulder blades back and release. And this time bring the left leg, oh sorry, left arm on top. Give yourself a big hug. And open up. Bring the fingers together where you can and lift the left leg. Left knee and slide it over the right. Coming to chair pose. Keeping that center, feeling your torso straight, not slumping and that shoulder blades together, elbows working a bit higher. And release. And let's take, um, yeah, I don't know with, without loss, but let's, let's do um, uh, at least lifting our right leg here, grabbing your right leg, lifting it up. Let's come into warrior three. So open up to the side and flex your foot, really as though you would like to open the top side here of your quad. And then bring it back to center, raise your hands above your head and sway back to warrior three. So either keep the arms out to the side like we are a great, beautiful bird. Keep the back foot flexed. Feel that strength in your standing leg. And then bring hands to, to prayer and slowly come up again. 
Great job. Lower left left knee, let's shake it out a bit. And inhale, lift your left leg at the knee. Open it up. Extend the right arm out. On your next inhale, come back. Extend the leg straight forward. Put this flexed and sway back into airplane. Really pushing those hands back, either along your hips or out to the side. Pushing the foot as though you would really like to make a stamp on the back wall or the back tree if you're outside. <laughs> and slowly come up again. And let's do tree pose. Bring your hands to your heart center. Um, or if you choose to, to grab your foot and place it wherever, either below or above your knee. Find that strength and when you're ready, grow your branches. And if you feel very stable today, maybe you want to start walking your gaze up towards the ceiling, really breathing in and extending your upper body, your chest, and then come back and release. Shake it all out, and let's take the left side. When you're ready, grow your branches. And take that little bit further and then release. Come back to the front of your mat if you're wondered. And let's do a Cool, extended mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And step back for high to low plank. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Bring the right leg forward, right foot forward, right hand, and come up. Warrior one, open up to warrior two. And let's come into our triangle pose here. So straighten out your right leg without jamming it. So soft bend, keep that proud warrior two pose and lean forward and twisting over, over your right foot, standing the left, left arm up. And on your next inhale, soften that right leg and come up and twist all your toes to the front and put our hands on our hips. Inhale, straighten up and exhale. Keep the torso straight and your head and all the way down until you release your head. And any pose, the expression you feel here, it's fine if you want to sway from side to side, if you want to just practice walking your hands back, or if headstand is in your practice, anything that feels good this morning.
Just let it all go. Just feeling into that sacrum and lower back opening up. And come back to center and slowly raise up. And see. And then point your right toes to the front and step in and out with your left foot. And let's fall, fall forward here over the right leg, getting that nice hamstring stretch triangle. And stay with your hands on your hips or in a behind your sacrum or bring them to the opposite side or each opposite side of, of the left of the right foot. Oh. And if you haven't already, bring the hands back, step back with your right foot and stay here in downward facing dog or take the vinyasa. Okay, we're all here. Bring your left foot to meet the left hand and come up to warrior one. Opening up to warrior two. Find your drishti here and straighten up the left leg. Straighten up your torso and lean into triangle pose. And I like to, to do a circle with my arm just to feel that stretch come with the movement. Feel your pelvis pushing forward, your heart opening up. And your next inhale, soften that left leg a little bit and come up. Flexing both feet to the front. And let's clasp our, our hands behind, behind our back, stretching out those arms and exhale, fold forward. Again, you can tweak from side to side or just let your head hang really low here in the middle. Shoulders working. If this is too much for the shoulders, just bring the hands back to the sacrum and lower them to the floor. And slowly come up. Point your left toes forward and step the right foot up and out. Center your pelvis and fold forward over the right, the left knee. Really feel that hamstring stretch, your back relaxing over the folded leg. And then bring both hands down, step back with the left foot and stay there in downward facing dog or go through the vinyasa. And from here, come forward to high plank. Take a deep breath here. <clears throat> and then with or without knees, just lower all the way down and rest for a moment. Folding your hands below your forehead or resting a cheek to the side. Take a moment to catch your breath. Fine. Find your center. OK. 
Okay, so <clears throat> let's just do a little bit of backward here. So bring your arms, palms down, down along your sides. Let's come up to locust pose. So inhale, bring your shoulder blades together, your chest up. If it's reachable, lift your feet to your legs as far as possible, as though you were only to balance on your pelvis. One more moment and release. Exhale, resting one cheek to the side. And on your next inhale, come up again. Pushing back your hands towards your seat. Looking up, or like forward up. And release, and rest the other cheek to the side. And next you can either do a third lotus pose or do the floor bow grabbing your foot, your feet with your hands from the upper side and push, push, push the feet away, lifting up here the same way. Keep breathing, keep pushing and release. Great job, and maybe you want to windshield wipe your feet side to side. Good job. And from here, slowly come up and come round on your seat, and let's lay down for bridge pose. So once here, bring your heels as close as possible to your seat. Extend the arms next to your shoulder or next to your hips and slowly with your inhale, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, finding your own personal expression here. I like to clasp my hands under my sacrum or push my heels, push my fingers into my heels from the inside. Really bring that up. It's also really helpful, I think, to use your elbows, to push away your elbows to help your torso up. And slowly release, bring it down. And do two more of these, or if wheel is in your practice, uh, of course you can go ahead with roll two, and otherwise just practice two more bridge at your own pace. And when you feel ready, just let's meet in reclined <clears throat> butterfly pose with your feet together, knees opening up. I think of Francine outside there. I'd love to be outside now. Hopefully going to be a good day, <clears throat> although the sun is not out here yet. So once you reach recline, butterfly, just <clears throat> acknowledge yourself, putting one hand on your chest, your heart center, one on your belly. Take a moment to center and deep breathe. And then bring the knees together, come into our happy baby, right? Like somebody said the other day, let's call it happy yogi. Instead, we are happy yogis. <laughs> so grabbing your feet, uh, the sole from the inside or from the outside, either works. And just sway here, trying the ideas to massage your lower back. So relax your back, try to stay neutral. And 
I like to swing from side to side, stretching alternate legs, whatever works for you. And then let's stretch both legs up to the sky and bring your heads or your hands clasping under your neck. And you can keep the, let, the neck rest or the head resting to the, the floor for the moment. And now let's lower your left leg all the way down to the ground. Just gonna do a little bit of ab work. At least I feel that I'm, I'm eating <laughs> and moving, eating way more and moving more, way less. So I think we're all in the same boat. So let's do a little bit of ab work here, keeping that uh, right foot, right leg stretched to the sky, just pulse up eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bend the right leg down, stretch it out, and raise the left leg straight up. Let's do the same here. Eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and one more time. Right leg up again. Pause it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And last time, left leg. Left leg up, lift your chest. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And bring both knees to your chest. Now throw it out a little bit here. Maybe circle your knees. Make it. A little bit of massage on the back. And then a little bit more forward. So bring your knees to 90 degrees angle here. And let's do 20 or 30 or 10 or five <laughs> bicycle, yogi bicycle. So um, I'm not gonna watch you, we just do it for a little while. So extending the right leg, lead, bringing the right elbow to the left knee, and then you work like that. Alternatively, really try not to bring the knees towards you, but your elbow reaching to the knee, alternate knee. I'm gonna do 10 more. Good job. And again, when you feel ready, let's bring the knees to your chest, take a breath. Ah, and then let's roll on our spines back and forth a few times before coming up to boat pose. And here on bow, you can either hold your hold under your knees um, or on your your thighs and stay like this. Just try to really bring the torso up and your chest towards your knees. If you want to let go, practice that. It's fine too. If you want to go low boat, high boat, low boat, high boat. I think we have enough of, of core work <laughs> for today. So from here, you can either be coming into pigeon. So if you want to take pigeon on the back, please go ahead and, and just uh, place your right foot over the left knee. Or if you want to come back to downward dog and take half pigeon here, bringing your right knee to your right wrist, wrist crease and 
slide back here, you will know what you're doing. And just find your peace and healthy tension here. Our hip joint is the biggest in our bodies and I can imagine that we all in this situation are feeling some stress that we might not acknowledge. So it's likely that we are more stiff and tense. So this is a great release. Just find your breath here and use your breath to explore, opening up with the inhale and then where can I release a little bit further on the exhale, really trying to get a little bit deeper. Without pain. And slowly come out of this side and make it to the other side. Left leg. I find this pose very releasing where it's I managed to just find that spot where I'm at the tension point, but it feels really good. It allows me for thinking and um, letting my, my thoughts flow. So try to just be in the present, be right here, right now. And let yourself flow. And now slowly come up and try to come up and, and bring the left leg forward and come up seated. And um, yeah, we were all in half pigeon. So you can come to <clears throat> seated position and bring the, the left leg on top of the right. Doesn't have to point out a lot, but just keep your left foot flexed and maybe push away the floor to get your torso straight. Using the hands and let's just take a deep inhale and fold forward here over the folded legs. Maybe you don't get anywhere at all, it's the feeling, but this is a great opener too. And come up and release both legs and just shake them loose a little bit. And then bend the, the left leg lower or on the on bottom and bring the right leg on top. So we do both sides here. Keeping both feet flexed. And again, sit tall here. And let's fold over the right. Straight forward.
Ah, come up. And let's stretch out both legs forward. And bring the left foot to the inseam of the right leg. Make sure your seat is forward looking. Toes are, right toes are pointing upwards. And inhale, extend and exhale, fold over that right leg. Then you all go. Really work from the bottom of your spine, trying to keep it straight, pushing your, your chest forward. And then when you feel you've reached your, your peak, just rest the head as well. Slowly release, extend the left leg out and bring the right foot in to the inseam of the left leg. Find your center and extend up, big inhale and fold on your exhale. Slowly come up again. And last, extend both legs out. Keep those toes or feet flexed. And again, last time, big inhale. And fold over both legs. And release, come up. And love pose here before we go into deeper rest. Let's do some rejuvenization. So come down to the floor again. And either way, you can just bring your feet up to the sky. Just kind of maybe support your sacrum with your hands. Or if you want to come up to the hip stand, bring your hands under your hips. And extend the legs straight up as straight as possible. Feel all that rejuvenization force of our blood reaching our heart and our brain all the way to the top of our heads. Keep breathing, finding your slow pace into the nose and out to the nose. And if you're in, yeah, if you're in hip stand, you can come down, yeah, or other much. Yeah, slowly come down here and bring both knees to your chest. Give them a tight squeeze and then extend the left leg straight to the mat and grab your right knee with your left hand and tip over to the left side, extending the right arm out to the side. Really feel that Nice stretch from your shoulders through your sacrum all the way. Supine twist. Uh, 
Uh, come back to the center, both knees together. Now extend the right leg out, grab the left knee with your right hand, twisting over to the right. Trying to keep both shoulders on the mat. Extending that left arm straight out to the side. Um, back to center and give both knees a tight squeeze to your heart center. Get dip, inhale and then exhale out for Savasana. So really find your comfortable spot. Arms to the side or above your head. Palms facing up, spread out your legs if you want to have a little blanket to cover yourself. I wish I was there to give you a little massage, but <laughs> a virtual and relaxing your shoulders, um, massaging your feet. Yes. Feel into that deep relaxation and release your breath to flow freely. And I'd love to let you stay there as, as long as you wish. But to end the class, maybe you start to wiggle your toes and fingers. Come back to the present. Yes. And slowly roll over to one side. Come up to a seated position. When you're in a seated position, bring your hands to heart center. Just close our eyes and bring our thumbs to forest center. This was my first online class. I'm, I'm very grateful and, um, and I hope I did okay. <laughs> I very much enjoyed this morning practice with you and I see and honor and respect you all and, and uh, wish that we will soon be able to have class together as usual. But meanwhile, let's meet here and do the best we can. Namaste.